power. Maximum earth-shaking power. Modified 4x4 truck. And supercharged two-wheel drive dynamo. Multiple supercharged high-performance engines, up to 10,000 horsepower fighting the drag of the big sled. When you feel the power vibrating through the ground, you know the Redman TNT All-American Pulling Series has come to town. It all began as a dare. Today, the challenge remains the same. TNT drivers travel thousands of miles each year to see who will be able to make that last 50 feet. It's the fastest growing motorsport in the country, and you're about to see why. This week, we'll be taking you to Huntsville, Alabama for the 6200 4x4 trucks. Then, it's the 6200 two-wheel drive modified truck. Plus, an exclusive peek into the secret hideaway of Chris Holdorf, the Florida Cracker. We'll be right back with our first pulling event. the Von Braun Civic Center in Huntsville, Alabama. And do those names ring a bell? Yes, sir, it's the nation's headquarters for rocket technology. So you know folks here appreciate power. Now we bring on the power of the 6,200-pound superstock four-wheel drive trucks at the Redman TNT All-American Pulling Series. And the first truck up is Brian Johns in USA 1. Red, and blue, the USA 1 Chevrolet. Brian Johns weighing in. At 6,200 pounds. First shot. How about a Chevrolet, people? Let's start right now. Let's get involved in this thing. A full pull right off the bat for young Brian Johns down to Butch Krieger at trackside. Well, Brian Johns, you ought to feel really good about that pull. I'll tell you right now, you had an excellent shot. Yeah, the track's really biting out there tonight. I kind of leaned over on the right side. It looked like I had a little more bite, and it paid off for me. Well, a real good pull. You look super tough, and you got a full pull. I don't know if the crowd heard that or not, but there could be a pull-off here, and I know you'd love to beat the Fords. Oh, yeah. Next up, a Ford. Anson Sebastian, Lancaster, Kentucky, in Night Train. We've seen what a Chevrolet can do. How about it, Ford people? What do you think the Night Train's going to do for you? The night train Ford out of Lancaster, Kentucky. Mr. Anson Sebastian doing the driving. A very respectable 161.53 feet for Sebastian. And Ford is number one. Well, I'll tell you what, it looks like you decided to go to the left side of the track or you made that charge right on the left side as you finally came down. Well, yeah, I, I decided to try new dirt, so I get out of Brian's tracks. Well, put you up number two right now. The Chevrolet's out the door, and we'll see you tomorrow. Thank you a lot, Butch. Okay. This is Jim McGlone in Whiplash, driving a Chevrolet. It's kind of an interesting sport. These guys will do anything they can to help each other until they hook to the sled. Once they hook to the sled, you've got to take what goes with the farm. But until that point, you'll watch them throughout the evening, and we'll draw to your attention how they work to help each other. Suspension. We see pieces hanging down on the left side of the truck, Bush. You might get a better view of it than we do. But the left front of the truck, something let go. 
How about giving him a lovely round of applause, ladies and gentlemen, to a double Aaron, duty. it looks like to me an A-arm. What else did you get? I got a front ring opinion, I think. Maybe a transfer case. Well, I'll tell you what, when you took off the starting line, you looked like you were a little bit out of control. I was. Apparently this thing was uh, cracked or something before I started. Well, that's too bad. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give a nice round of applause. Aaron had a good pull going right here, and Jimmy McGlone struck. It's too bad. Irvin Johns. Irvin is the father of our class leader, Brian, also in a Chevrolet from Louisville, Kentucky. Caller me gone, Louisville, Kentucky. Irvin Johns doing the driving. What a shot. Right down the left side of the track. The kid running beside the truck was his son, currently the leader in the class. Irvin, that puts you up number two right behind your son. So the, currently the... Irvin John's family is running number one and number two. Ain't that great? The Red Men all American. Chevrolets are hot tonight, especially nightlife. Go, go, the grill. Nightlife backs up. Buddy Gene out of Fern Creek, Kentucky. Early model Chevrolet. Go the sheet metal for you. He'll lay down a shot in a heartbeat for him. And 65 plus push feet. Them, push them in a cushion. They bunch them up there together. Buddy, get on out of the truck here so the people here can take a look at you. Buddy, I've said it many times and I still feel the same way about your truck. You have got the best ground speed of any super stock truck around. Thank you, Butch. I've uh, worked on it for a long time. I still haven't seen that trouble these short tracks. Another entrant from the Bluegrass State, Bobby Sproul in a GMC. GMC people here. We got anybody that likes to pull for the underdog. This is the guy you want to get behind right here. The Bluegrass Shaker out of Babylon, Kentucky, Mr. Tonight, but the youngster out of the bluegrass state, 18 year old Brian Johns. Bobby, I want to ask you something. Your truck seems to be a little bit different than most of them. Most of the super stockers, both the front and the rear wheels, are even distance apart. You run a wider front span than you do a rear. Why? Uh, we thought we'd keep a back tires out on my front track. Maybe that helped hold it a hitch out a little bit more. So you've been pulling that way for many, many years, haven't you? Yeah, ever since I started out with it. She's now a lady driver, right Susan Dutton Let's from Wheatland, Indiana. How about it, girls? What do you say? Let's let a her very know. petite right. little lady. She just very small, very frail until she gets her right foot on the throttle of that mountain motor truck, and she'll nail you to the wall in a heartbeat. That's exactly what she's doing, getting ready to do right now. Husband stands off the left side. How about it, girls? What do you say? Let's let her know we're out here. She says she can tell when you're behind her. Put some of the big boys away. 159.12 feet for the Lady Leadfoot. I always like to say 98 pounds of dynamite. I'll tell you, Susan, a very nice pull. Thank you. Not good enough. Not good enough. Well, the ladies in the audience were sure pulling for you, I'll tell you. Well, good. Let me tell you something. How did, you, how did Charlie ever talk you into start driving? Well, I don't know. Wasn't a dare, was it? No. Wasn't. Well, I'll tell you, I know you've beaten him and he's beaten you and it's a good relationship between you and your husband. Congratulations. Thank you, Butch. Okay, thank you very much. Speaking of the other half, Charles yeah, Dutton backs in to hook up and see if he can beat his wife's distance. How many people think that the little lady can pull further than her husband, huh? The hookman step out from behind. How many of you guys think that he can pull further than her? We're going to find out in just a minute. She's going to 159.12. Sixty-two point six zero feet. That's three feet better than Mama Duck. Well, I understand you did the winning here last night. I wasn't here last night. I know, and uh, they told me that you really came in through strong. Yeah, uh, this track went bad though as the uh, night went on. That's my opinion. Now I don't know. 
Well, always this tough competitor. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give Charlie a night nice round of applause. And he did beat his wife, let's put it that way. Only one more competitor in the 4x4 Super Stocks now, and it's Aaron Mobley from Harrodsburg, Kentucky, in the Mad Dog Chevy. It takes a full pull just to tie. Out of Harrodsburg, Kentucky, the Mad Dog Chevrolet, Aaron Mobley doing and driving. Brian Johns is the official leader of full pull by the USA 1 Chevrolet, setting number two, Sebastian, in a 161.53. One sixty six point seven six feet for Mobley. Not good enough. And I tell you, the two happiest guys on that pole were Irvin and Brian Johns, a father and son team over here. What are you guys so happy about right now? One and two. The winner of the USA one Chevrolet, Brian Johns, ladies and gentlemen, right here. And finishing in the number two spot, his father, Mr. Irvin Johns, with a color me gone for. Let's give him a big round of applause. That's it's really hard for him to see this. Holdor, the big daddy of Gator Country. Uh, the pull felt real good. I believe the sled might be just a little bit too heavy, so I hope I get another shot at it. Tractor pulling's a little harder than anything else. You, you can't practice because you need a sled. If you do, when you do practice, you're in front of 10,000 people. You've got probably 25 seconds to do it and do things right. That's it's sort of like drag racing, but at least in drag racing, you're on asphalt and you know your equipment's going to work. Here you're on dirt, and boy, if you make a mistake, you can really look dumb. And all these people think, well, I'll get out of drag racing and come down here to tractor pulling. You want to come tractor pull, you got to play with me if you're in a two-wheel drive class. Chris Holdorf of Winter Park, Florida, a hard competitor. This is a 604 cubic inch Ford motor. It's a banner-built chassis. It's a state-of-the-art equipment. There's none finer in this sport today. And if anybody thinks they've got one better, come on out and we'll show you you don't. Chris spends most of the year on the road, living in a completely furnished tractor trailer, home away from home, and campaigning two super sanitary powerhouse Fords. Florida Cracker is his latest contribution to the sport. It down real quick. This is probably one of the more risque paint jobs you're going to see in tractor pulling, but hey, what the heck, I don't care. I'm out here to please the people, not the sponsors. That's been my theory in 1986, and I intend to carry it over in 1987. This is the number one truck in the United States, Ford, by the way. If you guys think you got a bad two-wheel drive, come on out and we'll show you that you don't. The pursuit of pure power continues in the Redman TNT All-American Pulling Series. In the Superstock Tractor Classes, Mark Gettinger and his equalizer, Alice Chalmers, are hoping to take a double win on the 1987 point circuit. He has a 16-point lead in the heavy class, with Hans Boxler running a strong second. The light class, which pulls at 7,500 pounds, is the most evenly matched class on the Redman TNT circuit. Five tractors are within 22 points, with Gettinger clinging to a fragile seven and a half point lead over Thomas Dickerson. Three major indoor events highlight the Redman TNT pulling calendar this fall. This weekend, the most powerful sport on earth roars into Atlanta's Omni for pulling Friday and Saturday nights and Sunday afternoon.